Hi everyone, in this video what we're going to do is figure out what the limit is as x approaches 0 of 1 minus cosine of x divided by x squared. Now if we were to just go ahead and plug in x is equal to 0, we would have 1 minus cosine of 0 and cosine of 0 is just equal to 1, so we'd have 0 in the numerator and of course 0 squared is just equal to 0. So our limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0. And in order to evaluate it, we're going to have to use something called El Hopital Rule. El Hopital Rule basically says that if we have a limit as x approaches c of f of x divided by g of x, and f and g are both differentiable at c, and they're of indeterminate form 0 over 0, or plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, then we have that this limit is equal to the limit as x approaches c of the derivative of f of x divided by the derivative of g of x. And as long as these conditions are satisfied, we can continue to apply El Hopital's rule indefinitely. So let's go ahead and apply El Hopital's rule to this problem right here. So we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x divided by 2x. Now notice that if we were to just go ahead and plug in x is equal to 0, we would have sine of 0 in the numerator. And that's just equal to 0. And we would just have... 2 times 0 in the denominator, and this is just equal to 0 as well. So our limit is of indeterminate form 0 over 0 again, and we're going to have to apply El Hopital's rule for a second time. Doing so gives us the limit as x approaches 0 of cosine of x divided by 2. Cosine of 0 is just equal to 1, and as there's no x variable in the denominator, we would just have 2 in the denominator. So our final answer is just 1 over 2. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this content useful, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day.